Hi guys, it's Mihiri here and today we're going to talk about how to handle rejection. So in my 27 years of life, I've had my fair share of rejections and by now I've figured out some ways to how to handle those emotions and come out on the other side and still feel okay about myself and move on with my life. So here are my tips on how you can get over a rejection. The first tip that I have for you is to give gratitude. Now I get it, let's say you've just been rejected by somebody you've been crushing on for a few months. The last thing that comes to your mind is to say thank you to them. But this is not exactly what I mean by give gratitude. What I mean by this is try to move your mind to a space of gratitude. So I've watched this really great interview with Oprah and she has this really great quote and I absolutely love quotes. Uh, she says that if the door that you're knocking on isn't opening, guess what? That is not your door. I absolutely love this quote because it means that there is another door or another opportunity just waiting for you and who knows that person could be so much better for you and better than what you could have possibly imagined. So try to move to a space of gratitude to the universe, God or whatever to say thank you for guiding you towards what you're actually meant for and, and maybe even try to give a little uh, thank you in your head to that person for giving you an answer and hopefully they were nice about it so that you can move forward with your life and stop wasting time on something that wasn't meant for you. The next tip I have for you is to use this opportunity to really put into practice your self-love skills. So I know that when you get rejected, it's really easy to move into a really negative headspace. You start to think about that maybe there's something wrong with you, like why didn't this person feel the same way about you and what could you have done differently and all of these negative thoughts but in reality you are absolutely perfect you're more than enough and that person just for some reason wasn't in the same place that you are so what you need to do is to really use this opportunity to just shower yourself with self-love uh, pamper yourself if you can afford it go buy a new outfit get your hair done do whatever you have to do to help build your ego back up because really being rejected it hits you right in the ego and and that I think is the toughest part uh, get your friends involved have them text you nice things about you to, to remind you that you are loved and people love you and they want to be around you there's absolutely nothing wrong with you another tip I have for you is to don't try to change their mind. And I know this is something that I really struggled with because I'm someone who always has to get her way no matter what. So this is something I had to learn the hard way. Um, but you have to respect people's autonomy. So you have to give them the respect of their decision. And if they don't feel the same way about you, you absolutely have to respect that. And really when you think about it, you shouldn't have to convince anybody to be with you and there's gonna be somebody who comes along who completely accepts you for the weird special person that you are and I really think that this is worth waiting for the next tip that I have for you is to be proud of yourself look at what you did you did something you took a chance you you stood there with your heart in your hand and you dared to be vulnerable and I think that this is such a courageous thing and you deserve a bazillion bonus life points for that. So really try to shift your energy and focus onto that aspect and that fact that you did something that took a lot of guts and not the actual outcome itself. Because I think it's super easy to just live your life on the sidelines. You can keep yourself from being hurt, being disappointed, being rejected. And I know this because this is in general how I used to live my life and I think it's taken me a long time to slowly allow myself to be open to those to those negative emotions and when you really think about it these negative feelings of sadness disappointment are directly correlated to the opposite so love joy and happiness are all interconnected there's no way for you to feel those wonderful feelings truly without feeling some of the bad stuff from time to time. So let's say you just got rejected and you are feeling really shitty about yourself and you're down in the dumps. Well, try to think that someday what you're feeling right now is 
is a measurement of all the happiness and love and joy that you will be able to feel someday. So that's one way that you can shift your perspective on this really kind of negative situation. The final tip I have for you guys is something that I've been trying to apply more and more this year. It's a little life slogan that I've created for myself which is write it out and ride it out. So pretty much what I try to do is when something uh, negative happens, something bad happens and I'm feeling all these emotions and I'm all stuck in my head about it, what I do is I just grab my planner and I just write it all down in a page and I try to be as honest as possible about it and I don't try to judge what I'm writing so I just write it all out and throw it down on a page and by the time I'm done it really feels like a huge weight is lifted from my shoulders and that I've taken a small step towards getting over this problem and moving on with my life. Also, it's really cool to have a record of all the things that you've managed to get over and work through because it gives you courage to work through whatever you are working through now and in the future because you know that you've gotten through all of these hardships. So I really recommend this and I think this works on all different levels. So um, just in general writing, things out and working through your emotions I think is a really great idea. Alright guys, those are all the tips that I have for you today. I hope you found them to be helpful. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below and I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye bye!